everyone, we're coming to you from Oz Comic Con in Brisbane and I'm here with Kylie Chan and Queenie Chan. We got two for the price of one today, which is pretty awesome. Kylie Chan was born in Australia. She has a Bachelor of Business and an MBA in Information Technology and a Masters of Philosophy in Creative Writing. After running her own consulting business for 10 years in Hong Kong, Kylie studied martial arts, Buddhist and Taoist philosophy, and wrote the best-selling nine book Dark Heaven series that encompasses the Dark Heavens trilogy, Journey to Wudang, and the Celestial Battle trilogy. She's also written several novellas and is currently completing her Dragon Empire trilogy. She's also collaborated on two small Shen graphic novels with Queenie Chan. Queenie Chan was born in Hong Kong and migrated to Australia when she was six years old. She has a bachelor's degree in information systems. Her first published works were a three-volume mystery horror series called The Dreaming for LA-based manga publisher Tokyo Pop. To date, it's been translated into multiple languages. She followed this with the Fable Kingdom three-book fairy tale-inspired fantasy adventure. She has since collaborated on graphic novels, the Old Thomas series for author Dean Coots, and she's worked with Kylie Chan. Currently, Queenie is working on a series of non-fiction children's graphic novels entitled Women Who Were Kings, The Most Powerful Queens in History a collection about the lives of famous historical queens from all over the world. So we're going to be chatting to, um, let's start with you Kylie, what made you want to become a writer? I didn't want to work in a cubicle and I hate getting up early in the morning. That's a good reason. Oh, absolutely. You in your yes, I write in bed. I write in my jammies too. What about you Queenie? I started drawing comics because I wanted to escape my boring degree at university, so very much like Kylie's story. Yeah, yeah. that's great. <laughs> I would definitely be doing that as yeah, well. Yeah. And what about, um, do you write yours as well? Yes, I write and I draw. So that was been, um, I wouldn't say it's been a childhood dream of mine. It wasn't what I was planning to get into, but I guess when um, I graduated uh, and the economy wasn't doing so well, mm. it seemed like a viable option for me to try and use my skills and see what the, what opportunities there were out there. Yeah, mm. fantastic. And what about you? How much research? All of it. Yeah, I spend I spend more time researching than I do actually writing. In fact, it's a little bit of a black hole and I have to pull myself out again occasionally. Yeah, I do that too. Research. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've been I've been lost in a scene now for about a month and a half trying to get all the research out. So, what time of day is best for you to write? Either first thing in the morning or between midnight and 4 a.m. Okay, what about you? Um, when Kylie's not writing, apparently, so in the <laughs> afternoon, yeah, I do really well after lunch and before so twelve o'clock. <laughs> in the world, yeah, <laughs> we can't both access the same muse. Yeah, I find that like you know, sort of three o'clock in the morning is yeah. good. Is yes. that is? I know it's good when I wake up the next morning and I cannot remember a word of what I wrote. Yeah, but then you go back and you read it and you go, oh my oh, god, god, that was brilliant. Oh, yes. <laughs> the subconscious writes the best stuff. I wanted to ask you um, actually for another video that I'm doing about yes. publishing, yes. about self-publishing. You've done yes. some of that? Yes, I've self-published some novellas that I uh, give away basically digitally, but my fans are crazy and they want print copies as well, so I've arranged print copies too. Do you find that that is, um, you, was it an easy process? No, Just, no, no. <laughs> but once you've done it once, it's easy after that and, and it depends it depends who you do it with if you do it with someone like smashwords or amazon create space the uh process is very very simple yeah. but if you want to do it properly you go with someone like ingram spark and get proper fonts proper layout proper covers and do it right and if you're going to do something like i think you should do it right you got any recommendations got any recommendations for hard copy uh, well, since Amazon Create Space does not ship to Australia, mm. you cannot get author copies. So at the moment, either Lulu, which don't do very nice books and they don't do uh, standard formats for bookstores, absolutely Ingram Spark is the only way to go. Yep. Yeah, is that what you were going to say? 
I was going to add, look, um, as a comic book artist, my um, standards and requirements are probably a bit different to Kylie's, but um, Lulu has just got a new service called Lulu Express, and my biggest problem with them is that even though their quality is better, um, their shipping is really expensive. So for now, I still say stick with um, Ingram Spark, because I do recommend them. Um, particularly if you're doing black and white work in comics. Uh, colour, it depends. I think they can use some improvement there, but um, the quality is decent for what you pay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What character in your book have you fallen for? Like, do you find yourself sort of falling for a character every now and again and protecting them instead of killing them? No, if I really like a character, it's very, very hard not to murder them off, really. <laughs> because if I know, if I like a character, the fans are going to love it and they're going to be really heartbroken if I kill that character off. Do you actually plot it or does it just happen? Sometimes things take a bit of a left turn into territory. Oh, yeah, the, the story goes off in its own direction. If it does that and I'm shocked at where it's going, then I know damn well my reader will be. So this is a good thing. Yeah, I do that too. Absolutely. I just let it surprise me. I had somebody ask me what it was like killing a character and I said, no, I just watched them die. I didn't actually kill them. <laughs> what about you, yeah. Queenie? Do you fall in love with your characters? Um, Sometimes, but right now I'm doing um, historical stories about famous queens, and so there's a lot of death in there, and it's like I'm enjoying all the death and intrigue, so I have no trouble like depicting them uh, people getting killed. Uh, not the queens, of course, but a lot of the people who's trying to take them down, and that's a lot of fun. In terms of uh, writing fiction, I... Um, I actually think there's a lot to be said for a good death scene. Yeah. So if you love a character, send them off in a grand way. Yeah, Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Absolutely. <laughs> and so with all the queens that you're killing off, is that like ancient China? Or, no, ancient... Um, I'm doing, um, I did have Shetsuit, so um, the queens aren't dying. Okay, so they're they're slaying it. They're, they're killing everyone <laughs> <laughs> who gets in their way. So, um, have Shetsuit, that's the first one I did. It did pretty well. So, I continued with um, a female Chinese emperor called Wu Zetian. So, yeah. she's China's only female emperor. So, right now, I'm working on Queen Elizabeth. And uh, all their stories are very different. So, I enjoy history, enjoy like, researching history. So, I'm enjoying these women's stories and how different each of them are. Because I was going to say, China had some pretty vicious kind of uh, weapons back then. Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> I would say it's not particularly a Chinese thing, um, but they certainly had some interesting stuff. Yeah. The Egyptians had some pretty interesting weapons as well, didn't they? Yeah. Sadly, I don't get to write much about battlefield stuff, but that's an area that I'm interested in as well. So um, I'm looking at in the future maybe a series of uh, on uh, female military leaders. I mean, that would be very interesting, I think. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Did Elizabeth I have anyone executed? Um, probably there's Mary, you know, yeah, Queen Mary, <laughs> you know, her. so that would be sure the big Mary one, I guess. Yeah. yeah, she didn't want to, I think, uh, but, you know, the circumstances made it that she had to and, uh, you know, it is to protect herself in the end. She didn't want to, like I said. Uh, that's That part of the story is interesting to write because um, I think everyone agrees that uh, Elizabeth put it off as long as she could. Yeah. No, but in the end, well, what can you do? Yes. Yeah. Okay. She had a fair number of years. So, what's next? What's next for you, Kylie? I'm working on book three of my Dragon Empire science fiction series, Dragons in Space. And after that, I am planning to go back to my Dark Heavens universe and write about the daughter of the god of war who is half god, half human, and has her uh, just trying to do a research degree at, at uh, a university in Hong Kong and study turtles. That's all she wants to do. Uh, that's not going to be what happens. Uh, absolutely <laughs> not, no. What about you, Queenie? What are you up to at the moment? Um, I'd like to get Elizabeth done by next year, but after that I'd like to work on Catherine the Great. So there's a number of queens oh, that I'd nice. like to do as well. Yeah. So uh, a lot of different women. Um, I've got a list that i like to work through. So yeah. uh, I'll see if I could do some double bills for them, like um, Queen Son Doc um, and... Um, uh, I don't Suiko, Emperor Suiko of yeah. uh, the Japanese, and uh, so I'll see if I could do a double bill of that. Ooh. Yeah, that would be fun because um, some of these women they're not that well known. Their stories are not that well known because it's not that much is known about them. But if I could do a double bill, it could give more people more value for money and learn more at the same time. Yeah. And um, just to finish off, um, what's the meaning of life, Kylie? Forty-two, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Queenie? Ditto, really. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Thank you, Tracy. Thanks.